A huge blow for an after-school program in the Metro. Bike Club OKC says someone broke into one of their containers and sold bicycles, pumps, and other accessories. News Force Tanner De Leon spoke with the director who says they are working toward raising enough money to replace what was stolen. Tanner. Well, that's right. Alyssa Lutz says she was devastated when she found out what happened. She says it wasn't just bikes and equipment that were stolen, but opportunities for kids as well. First opportunity, learn to ride a bike. And then they learn uh, basic bike maintenance skills. Bike Club OKC gives kids an opportunity to do something they have never done before. Ride a bike around the city and visit some pretty cool places. We do all of our field trips by bicycle and these kids get to see the city in an amazing way and really learn how to navigate. You know, they learn cardinal directions, north, south, east, west, and how to map out a route. So it's really about opportunity. But last week, multiple bikes and equipment were stolen from one of their containers. We had all of our grown up bikes and our volunteer bikes were stolen. And those are our most expensive bikes. And then just a few of our kiddo bikes were taken. All of the bike pumps were taken, which is a critical piece of our equipment. Thousands of dollars worth of bikes and equipment stolen, leaving Lutz scrambling to recoup. I was heartbroken. I mean, we scrap and scrape for every penny and every dollar to make this program such a success. And when, you know, man, we lost all this equipment and money, you know, this is like really kind of a setback. Fortunately for the time being, they were able to move bikes and equipment around from other containers to keep kids rolling. Now they're hoping to raise enough money to buy more bikes and equipment. This is life changing in so many ways. We're going to be bigger and better. I don't know about faster, but stronger for sure. Lutz has also started a GoFundMe to help raise the funds needed. And if you'd like to donate, you can find a link to the GoFundMe on this story at KFOR.com.